everyone, welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to the Jetbase series, a mix of Jetpack Compose and Firebase. This is our last topic from the series. In the upcoming videos, we will be creating a project that uses all the topics we learned so far. See, we have covered almost everything from the Firebase services, authentication, real-time database, cloud storage, and now Firestore. But what is Firestore? And how is it different from other services? So Firestore is a cloud-based NoSQL database designed to store data for web and mobile apps in real time. It uses a structure based on collections and documents. Think of a collection as a folder and a document as a file. Inside it that contains data in key value pairs, much like a JSON object. For example, in a notes app, you might have notes as a collection where each node is a document. Got it? We will learn it more in detail further. Now, one common question is how Firestore is different from Firebase Real-Time Database. Both of them are NoSQL. Both of them store the data. But Firestore is more powerful when it comes to querying, scaling, and organizing the data. It uses a structured format with strong support for offline access on both mobile and app. Various real-time database uses a flat JSON tree and is better suited for smaller apps. In short, Firestore offers more flexibility, better performance for complex apps. It's a great choice if you're building chat apps, social feeds, or any app that needs dynamic, structured, and reliable data storage. To understand it better, I have created a simple daily affirmation apps using Firestore. Let me show you the demo. You know what an affirmation is, right? A positive statement that is used to encourage a belief. Like good things are coming. A positive belief, right? So see, I'll write an affirmation. Click on save. And look, in the file store, the affirmation is successfully stored as well as displayed. Remember I said the data is stored in collections and documents. Here the collection is affirmations. And the document is the specific statement with a unique ID. We not only store and display it, but we can also update and delete it from the file store. I'll update the statement and see the document is updated successfully. Then I'll click on delete and look, the statement or the document is deleted from the Firestore database. Great! So we'll be performing all the CRUD operations of Firestore in one video only. Hence, stay tuned till the end. Open Android Studio. Create a new project, name it Daily Affirmations Firestore, click on Finish. First, let's connect our project with Firebase. Go to Tools, Firebase, choose Cloud Firestore, get started with Firestore, click on Connect to Firebase. Firebase console will be open automatically. Click on Create a Firebase project. I'll keep the name as it is. Follow the steps shown on the screen. And our project is successfully connected to Firebase. Next, come back to Android Studio. Add dependency by clicking on Accept Changes. Then again, go back to the Firebase console. In your project, choose Cloud Fire Store, click on Create Database, choose the servers, start in test mode, and click on Create. Our project is successfully connected to the Fire Store. Now let's write the code for it. First, go to Gradle, add these three dependencies. I'll mention them in the description box. These two are for Firebase, and this one is for View Model. Click on Sync now and done. Now see, the setup is simple. We will create a repository that will handle all the Firebase commands, then a view model that will handle the logic, and then the UI. Simple. So create a repository class, name it Firestore Repository. Here we will handle the Firestore commands such as storing the data, fetching the data, updating the data, and deleting the data. But to do all of this, first we need a collection, right? Remember collection and document I talked about? Yes. Hence, create a collection variable. 
basically database. It initializes Firestore and send the collection as affirmations. The affirmation is our collection and this is where all the statements or the documents will be handled. So first, let's draw the affirmation. Hence, create a function, add affirmation, whose parameter is text string. Inside it, if the text is not blank, means the text is present, the user has written an affirmation in the text field, then what will happen? Of course, the affirmation will be stored in the database. Or the technical word for the database in Firestore is collection. Hence, it calls collection dot add map of text to text to store the affirmation as a key value pair where this text is the key it's like a label then this text variable is like the value that will be stored for that key basically the actual affirmation entered by the user next let's create a function to fetch all the affirmations from the database hence create a function fetch affirmations whose parameter is on affirmation changed that retrieves the list of affirmations in a key value pair format. Then inside it, the function listens for the real-time changes for collection using add snapshot listener, where snapshot is the data. Inside the listener, snapshot question mark documents gets all the documents in the collection basically all the affirmation text. Here, if I use the word collection, it means the database. And if I use the word document, it means the affirmations. Then math.null goes through each document and creates a pair. The first part is document.id. The unique ID Firestore gives the document. And the second part is document.getStringText, where the text fill is the value or an empty string if it's missing. Basically, a unique ID along with an affirmation. If there is no data, it returns an empty list. Then on affirmation changed, affirmation text, make sure the app always has up-to-date list of affirmations without needing to refresh manually. Next, create a function to update the affirmation whose parameters are ID and new text. This function updates an existing affirmation. To find the exact document that is being updated, it starts by searching the document in the collection using the ID and calls update text new text, where the value changes from text to new text. Lastly, create a new function, delete affirmations, whose parameter is ID. This function deletes an affirmation from the database. It starts by searching the document in the collection using its ID and calling delete function, which will permanently delete the document from the collection. Now, once we have all the Firebase commands, let's execute them using a view model. Hence, create a class, affirmation view model. This affirmation view model acts as a bridge between the UI and the Firestore data. The class extends the view model. Then it creates an instance of Firestore repository that we created to handle all the database operations, right? Then the affirmations variable wrapped in a mutable state of holds a list of pairs, each pair containing a document's ID and its affirmation text. Initially, it's an empty list. Add imports. Then private set means that a property can be read from anywhere but it can only be modified inside the class in which it is declared next in the init block we will handle fetch data that is fetch affirmations is called from the repository and whenever the new data is received it updates the affirmation list in real time making it as updated affirmations now the remaining three operations that are add affirmation, delete affirmation and update affirmation, it simply forwards the request to the repository, keeping the view model clean and ensuring the UI can easily trigger database changes without dealing with Firestore directly. So write along with me, add affirmation function, 
first parameter is affirmation text string. It calls the add affirmation function from the Firestore repository and passes the affirmation text neat and clean. Likewise, the delete affirmation function, whose parameter is an id string, it also calls the delete affirmation method from the Firestore repository and deletes the id. Then the same update affirmation function, whose parameters are id and new affirmation text. It also calls the update affirmation method from the repository and updates the id and new affirmation text. Simple. Now comes the UI part. So create a display affirmation screen. Make it a composable function. Here call the affirmation view model. Now see, the UI is pretty simple. We have a text field where the user writes the affirmation, then a button that stores the affirmation, and then the card view style where the affirmation is displayed with two buttons, edit and delete. And that's it. But here comes the detailed logic that you need to carefully understand while storing, displaying, editing and deleting the data. Let's do it one by one. First, create an affirmation text variable which we will take from the user through a text field, right? Add imports. Then we will create three variables that will handle the edit state. Now, we are not creating any separate screen for editing. Instead, we will have a dialog box with a text field and a button where the user can update the affirmation. So, these are the edit states variables. Is editing, which is currently set to false, meaning the dialog box is closed. Then, is edit the updated ID of the affirmation. And then, the edit text the updated affirmation. Got it? Next, I am keeping the app theme color pink. Hence, adding the pink hex value as shown. Now, create a scarf fold. Inside it, a top app bar whose the title text is daily affirmations. And add colors where the container color is pink and title content color is white. Add exceptions. Next, inside the scarf fold body, add the padding values. Then a column whose modifier outer padding is the padding values and inner padding is 16 dB. Inside the column, another column whose horizontal alignment is center horizontally with the fill marks with modifier. Then inside the column, an outline text fill whose value is the affirmation text that we will take from the user. On value change, on value change is the current affirmation text. And the placeholder text is write your affirmations. Then the shape, rounded corner shape 24 dp, a fill max width modifier with colors, where the focus container color is white and unfocused container color is also white. Next, give a spacer of 8 dp height, a button whose on click will store the affirmation. Hence, call add affirmation method from the view model, store the affirmation text, and then reset the affirmation text. Again, add button colors where the container color is pink and content color is white, with a button text that says save. Next, again, give a spacer of 20 dp height. We have successfully stored the data, now it's time to display it. So, I will use for each to display the affirmations from the view model with ID and text pair. I'll use a card whose container color is white. Elevation is 4 dp. Modifier as fill max width and padding 4 dp vertical. Inside the card, we will create a row that consists of one text and two icon buttons. The row padding is 12 dp with horizontal arrangement as space between and vertical alignment as center vertically. Then inside the row, a text that displays the text which is our affirmation. With 1f as weight and 8 dp as end padding. Next, the two icon buttons, the first is for edit, where the is editing that is edit dialog box will become true. The ID will become is added. 
and the text will become the edit text with icon as editor of course with content description and tint as pink we will create the edit dialog box in a while then the second icon button is delete with the on click deletes the affirmation using delete affirmation method from the view model using id the icon is a delete icon with content description and tint as pink now after the for each closing bracket this is where we will create our edit dialog box here if is editing is true then alert dialog box will be shown which consists of a title text field confirm button and a dismiss button first on dismiss request means if the user clicks outside the dialog box in that case the dialog box will be dismissed by setting is editing as false then the title text of the dialog box says edit affirmation next the text means the content of the dialog box is a text field where the value is the edit text on value change is the current edit text and the shape is a rounded corner shape of 10 dp size below it a confirm button where a text button is present whose on click updates the affirmation using the update affirmation method from the view model using edit id and edit text for better understanding rename is edit to edit id then once updated close the dialog box by keeping is editing as false and also confirm button text as update likewise we have a dismiss button where a text button is present whose on click closes the dialog box by setting is editing to false and also sets the dismiss button text to cancel and that's it our affirmation screen is ready One last thing that is to initialize Firebase and keep display affirmation screen as the launching screen. Hence for that go to main activity. Here remove the default code. Then initialize the Firebase using Firebase app. Inside the set content keep the theme as material theme and call display affirmation screen inside it. And that's it. Our daily affirmations app is ready using Firestore. Let's run the app and check. This is what it looks like very clean girl aesthetic here i will write an affirmation save it and look the affirmation is successfully displayed and store as well in the fire store in a form of collection and document where affirmations is a collection and our store affirmation is the document not just store but we have successfully displayed it using a card these are the two icon buttons i'll click on edit See the edit dialog box is opened which means is editing is true at the back end I'll update the affirmation and save it Look the affirmation is successfully updated Now finally I will delete the affirmation using the delete icon button and it's gone from here as well as here in the database Cool right We have successfully created a fully legit app with all four crud operations using Firestore and Jetpack Compose amazing so yeah that's it for the video if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video